good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on internal combustion engines today we are going to discuss about the difference between si engine and petrol uh, ci engine see si engine means uh, si spark ignition engine that is petrol engine versus ci compression ignition engine that is diesel engine so i have taken four stroke engine so this is the four stroke petrol engine uh, pv plot this is the four stroke petrol engine sorry four stroke uh, diesel engine pv plot this is p and v pressure versus volume difference between si engine and ca engine so before going to see the difference between them you should know what is the working of si engine and ca engine see four stroke means uh, suction compression suction compression expansion exhaust suction compression suction compression expansion exhaust four strokes so i have taken four stroke engine so this is the inlet valve this is the exhaust valve piston cylinder crankshaft and uh, crankcase this is the crankshaft okay connecting rod with bottom dead center this one top dead center this is the piston see for example if i go to si engine there is a carburetor is there through which in the carburetor fuel is coming from one side that is from the tank air is coming from one side that is from the air they mix they mix together here and they will enter into the cylinder as a homogeneous mixture in the suction stroke suction that means in the during suction air fuel mixture takes place from the carburetor during compression this inlet valve and this exhaust valve both close and during compression this compre- this you know air fuel mixture get compressed at the end of compression this is the spark plug spark initiate this is the spark plug spark initiate so that the air fuel mixture bond and releases high pressure and high temperature gases the which push the piston downward that is called expansion and after expansion we need to send the exhaust gases outside so exhaust valve open and we are pushing the, the exhaust gases outside during exhaust stroke that means piston is moving upward direction and cycle complete and then cycle start again after moving to the top dead center inlet valve open suction start so this is how a petrol engine work let us go to the diesel engine if it is a diesel engine it become fuel injector if it is a petrol engine it become spark plug so the air alone takes place taking this air alone taking into the cylinder in the suction stroke in the compression stroke air alone compress this inlet valve exhaust valve both close as it is and during compression at the end of compression we are injecting the fuel with the help of fuel injector so once the once we inject the fuel into the fuel injector once the we inject the fuel through the fuel injector into the chamber this air fuel mixture bond and this air and fuel mixes together and atomization occur and because of the compression itself ignition occur that's why it is compression ignition engine after compression we are injecting the fuel so fuel and air mix and bond because of the compression it is ignition start starts that's why compression ignition after the initiation of the uh, combustion you know it releases high pressure and high temperature gases it will push the piston downward piston move downward that is expansion and once again the gases has to send out so that it move upward that is exhaust truck so that the exhaust gases leave and in the situation we are opening the exhaust valve so exhaust gases leave so this is how the diesel engine work now let us see the uh, work uh, difference between petrol engine and diesel engine petrol means si spark ignition diesel means compression ignition engine ci engine auto cycle is the basic basic cycle see for petrol engine auto cycle is the basic cycle diesel cycle is the basic cycle for the diesel engine it uses low compression ratio here the compression ratio is low here the compression ratio is high so that's why running is smooth here here the running is very diff, you know rough here that means vibration is high of course compression ratio is less so less noise we come you know from the uh, si engine spark ignition engine the noise is very very less so that's why the nowadays cars are designed almost all the cars are designed with petrol engine of course some cars are designed with diesel engine also but most of the cars are designed with petrol engine petrol this is gives less noise this gives more noise because of the compression ratio it gives more noise so a smooth running operation less, less compression ratio the running is very very smooth running is very very rough here rough noise less vibration see you know if i design the engine with uh, petrol engine the vibration is very less if i design the engine same capacity engine with the diesel engine the vibration is very high so examples are tractors lorries buses all are giving more vibrations see almost homogeneous mixture here because almost homogeneous mixture means air and fuel mix this is fuel from the tank this is air from the atmosphere they mixed in the carburetor itself and going into the cylinder as a homogeneous as a single com- composition that means homogeneous mixture 
almost homogeneous mixture here SI engine. In diesel engine, almost heterogeneous mixture because at the end of compression stroke, we are injecting the fuel into this one. So that means this is almost heterogeneous. That means there is no homogeneity. The almost heterogeneous mixture will form. Knocking takes place at the end of combustion. They already we discussed these points in the beginning itself. Knocking, not beginning of this video, beginning of this series of lectures. Knocking takes place at the end of combustion. In petrol engine, knocking takes place at the end of combustion. Knocking takes place at the beginning of the combustion. Because this is a compression ignition engine, so almost all the combustion takes place at the beginning itself, instantaneous combustion, so that that gives a knocking. So that's why I, this is at the beginning of the combustion. Of course, knocking takes place at the before TDC, you can write. Knocking takes place after TDC, here you can write. Heat addition at constant volume. See, if you observe the PV plot, this is the 1 to 2 compression, 2 to 3 is the heat addition. So 2 to 3 is the constant volume, V3 is equal to V2. It's a constant volume heat addition process. Heat addition takes place at the constant volume. Here, 1 to 2 compression, 2 to 3 is a constant pressure process. Heat addition, that is 2 to 3 is a heat addition, so P2 is equal to P3. So heat addition is at a constant pressure process. Thank you. These are the you know major differences. Of course, you can find many more differences between SI and CA engine, but you know these engine, these uh, differences are sufficient for the you know student to write examination or to understand the basic logic between the SI and the CA engine. Thank you very much.